Hello, Monster Man here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 18 of my oof, Valkyrie the Bloody Campaign. Where we launch attack against Schwarzhafen, which has got an army inside it, but also quite a beefy garrison. Where the fuck does this garrison come from? I am confused, but never mind. Never mind. Uh, Telsian charging in there, of course. He is going to make a real mess of those halberd- Wow. Jesus, jam a clock, Telsian. Holy shit. Admittedly, your, your lad at the front there is doing most of the work, isn't he? You're taking a lot of missile fire there, but it doesn't seem like you care very much. So you're already up to 10 kills and climbing. Meanwhile, cavalry over the other side of the city. That's why we're attacking on all sides. Skull crushers slamming into those swordsmen. We need to kill off those crossbows as well because they'll be doing quite a lot of damage to us. Over here, we have uh, the Heralds of Corn's Fury and the Swords of Chaos mopping up some great swords there. So far, so good. Of course, we do have Balthazar. He's just flying around, dropping spells on us. We've also got uh, quite a lot of enemy artillery dropping shells on our heads. Not very pleasant, but we're just going to we're just gonna walk it off. Walk it off. Telsian's up to 35 kills already. More spearmen brace for his charge. How will they do? Not very well. That is a lot of jam. And here come the chaos spawn. Wow, people just exploding into goo. So got the chaos spawn shrine there. Which is uh, wait, where, how much? How much? How much beefiness is it giving us? Three attack, five percent so far, and climbing. Not that you know. I mean, these aspiring champions have got 90 melee attack and 126 weapon strength. I think they're generally fine. Take a bit of uh, magic fire there from Balthazar, but uh, nothing too bad. These halberdiers actually holding us back. They do have 57 melee defense. And what else? I mean, 16 bonus first large as well. They're losing ground, but they're still doing okay. Until a sword drops on their head. That hurts. And it also calls them with a little bit of consternation now that all their friends are dead. Heralds of Call's Fury are going to break past the great swords. Aiming for the enemy missile units over here because we're being pelted by crossbow bolts and I don't like it. Strong dislike. Brace yourselves. Yeah, you better brace yourselves. Get them, boys. Get a real mess of those boys. Right, we've almost broken through over here. Looking at the uh, enemy... Oh, sorry, I say unit counts. You see, uh, the enemy are dropping very, very quick. Very... Korn's forces are brutal, aren't they? Even without... Ma they don't need magic. You don't need magic with these boys. They just wreck face. Telsian is surrounded. But to be honest, that just... It's just a target-rich environment, isn't it? And to be honest, they're not helping by trying to mortar him, which isn't really doing anything to Telsium, but he's killing a lot of their own guys. Not very smart. Our cavalry is mopping up on this flank. We have managed to wipe out most of the enemy units around here. The Heralds of Corn's Fury have managed to pick up their Hellblade, which obviously makes them even more dangerous. So they come sweeping down to help the Swords of Chaos out once again against the Empire Knights. You may be shiny and armoured, but your stats are mediocre at best. Look at that. Only 34 weapon strength. Pitiful. Pitiful. Absolute trash. Okay, we do need to take out this artillery, which could potentially be quite nasty. One thing Korn can't abide is artillery. That'll do it. So let's put a stop to that. Telsian then charges in. Taking out the artillery itself. And in come the Chaos Knights. 
Uh, well, you do still outnumber me, just about, but you have lost two-thirds of your forces, so I'm not... I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out for you. Also, this water is fetid at best. So we're securing the city centre. We have taken quite a lot of damage, but then there was a lot... I mean, there's, there's 3,000 guys here. We came in with under a thousand. They outnumbered us three to one. Uh, we have taken quite a bit of damage. Although, to be, to be fair, while we've taken a lot of damage, I don't think we've actually lost many guys. I think generally, we've, we've come out of this pretty, pretty lightly. Like, even the Brutes of the Hounds. Do they have... They do have Blood Greed. I guess they are dual axe, aren't they? Interesting that it actually counts for them. Weird. I mean, cool, but weird. Does it count? What what did they get? Is it um? Just trying to think. Was it rage? Might be rage. They don't get rage, do they? Maybe they don't count as dual axe. I mean, they should be, seeing as they are dual axe infantry. But yeah, you really should. So we just need to hunt down what's left of the enemy missile units. Butcher them. And the nice thing about these is these guys are pretty nippy. So they can sort of like get in here. I mean, these guys got to be at 28. Pretty fucking slow. Balthazar won't come down to, to fight fair. He's just flapping around. We did beat up that warrior priest, but he's come back. Not really a big problem. But uh, Telsian has spotted the enemy general, Rutschel Billings. He's got 195 kills. What a boss. What an absolute boss. So it looks like he's just going for a walk. Just pop down to the market. Wow. That was a lot of health to lose in uh, one fucking hit. I don't think he's going to be doing very well for himself. And it looks like army losses have finally taken effect. And the enemy garrison is out of here. Including Balthazar, who is now flying away as fast as he can. What carnage. What delightful carnage. I'm going to sack it. Because I can't entirely remember where we are with Schwarzhaften. That is fun. Was that... Schwarzhaften's a minor settlement, isn't it? That was a massive fucking garrison. Is that just me? Raise the banners. It's like a very big garrison. Unleash. Like, huge. Huge garrison. Exalted of war. I mean, there was an army there as well, but still. It seemed bigger than it should be? I don't know. I mean, considering in my Zinch campaign, our minor settlement garrisons were absolute fucking garbage. But then, you know, we're demons. I guess we're not really great on the defense. Uh, what level are you? 44. You know what? I think... I think getting a little bit of extra casualty or punishment rate wouldn't be the worst thing for you, just in case. Because you do have this guy here, and while he's not a major issue, he, he could potentially, you know, attack you while you, you have taken a bit of a beating. And that could be slightly problematic. Okay, we're launching attack on Archeon because he got in my way. Demon Prince. What a prick. Do I want to give this stuff to Ma- Or I, I could- I could maybe subjugate. Subjugation is just so- So much, much a better idea, isn't it? Like, I- I know- Okay, here's something that might upset some people. Here is my controversial Total War opinion. I think Empire Total War wasn't necessarily bad when it came to, like, putting down settlements. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, people complained that France was just one settlement. And maybe that was not enough settlements. But, on the other hand, 
is it me or does defending a shit ton of settlements just it, it's kind of annoying isn't it isn't it is that is that just me i i quite like the fact that valkyr doesn't have many settlements i don't have to worry about them i don't have to keep building shit i don't need to defend them which is the main thing i don't need to rush around the reason this campaign has been one so fun and two so brutally fast is because I don't need to run around defending shit. I'm not constantly just running backwards and forwards trying to fend off enemy armies because I don't need to. One, because my vassals, but two, because my settlements are far and few between. So, um, yeah, there we go. Het woman. I don't know. I'm, look, I'm not... I'm not saying that it would fix every single problem that Total War has as a series. But... I do think it it's not necessarily the worst thing in having less settlements. If the settlements are more impactful, you don't need as many of them. And maybe that's the better option. Like, maybe rather than have, like, a major settlement, two minor settlements, just have a major settlement. You know, like, one major settlement here, big area. Like, you kind of go, okay, well, I just need to take that then. Rather than dick about... I mean, you know, we, we complain about too many settlement battles, but we want the nice sieges. And maybe that's the problem. Maybe the problem is that it's just too much fucking shit all over the place. Too many fucking settlements. More, you know, maybe less is more. Or less in this case. I don't know. Think it over. Anyway. Uh, meanwhile, right. Vote Obstry is... Oh, can you march down here? No, you can't reach us. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, I mean, Bolthor, I'm, you know, Bolthor does have a lot of... Consort of corn. You know, I mean... One, one army of corn versus like five stacks of Balthazar. They're, they're better really in only one way. They're better at dying. As the Dalek said to the Cyberman. Which, let's face it, is the fucking matchup of the century. Who didn't want to see that? Everyone wants to see that. It's fucking awesome. Fucking amazing. Uh, where did... Now, someone said that you get the... Hang on. Oh yeah, Chaos Giants. There we go. I mean, what, one problem with... I, I, You know what? There, there's a lot of things I like about the Chaos Campaign. I like the fact that you don't have as much territory. I like the fact that you have a bunch of people doing your work for you. That's nice. Um, but then I've always kind of been one of those people that kind of likes the idea of like joining a battle that's kind of going on and you get to sort of like just join in. You know, I like to be I like to be fighting alongside friends. Or at least, well, not friends, but AI. Because, you know friends can argue back. AI just does its own thing, which I'm kind of fine with. Anyway, if this campaign finishes, and I'm going to be honest, it's looking pretty goddamn... Yeah, we only need one more settlement, which is... is that's that's not many. We are going to give... Uh, let's do that. We're going to... Now, the, there is a Vermeer faction modded into the game. It's OVN? I think? Vermeer? And I do like Vermeer. They, they're something that takes you back to my hero quest days. Very exciting. And having having heard the mod is pretty good, I think it's worth... Now, a few people say, oh, oh, what does Monsters Bound know? Monsters Bound knows nothing, right? I, I genuinely have no fucking clue. What, I mean, I'm guessing, I obviously, it's Chaos Wars because there's rewards. been hints coming in. CA are nothing if not um, unsubtle. With it. You know what? I'll take it. With their um their hints. And it definitely sounds like we've got chorfs on the old way, which is exciting. When we get that, now I believe people are saying sort of April time, so I'm thinking potentially early access a week before that, so maybe the end of March. Again. I don't fucking know. No one's told me shit. And even if they had, I probably wasn't paying attention. However, I'm trying to factor in the fact that, you know, we, we might have... Oh God, what? where are we now? So this is going to be 5th. And then we're looking at sort of like... God, what? 20 odd dates? So 20... So I'm thinking we may be able to sneak another another campaign in here. But it's going to be... It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. So I'm thinking we do that, uh, particularly because obviously we are pretty close to um, to winning. 
they've launched a crusade against the Citadel of Dusk. Ah, oh, good for them. Good for them. Well done. Obviously, it will be mean playing another evil, evil faction. I know some people get very uppity when I play evil factions. For some, I don't know why you get uppity about playing evil, evil factions. Like, evil factions are some of the most interesting in the fucking franchise. Otherwise, it's just elves, and humans. This dull, so dull, dull, dull. And the familiar, it takes me back to my hero quest days because they were in hero quests. So the the enemies in hero quest were kind of like segmented. So you had you had the the green plastic was the orcs, goblins, and the familiar, and then you had the the cream plastic and that was skeletons, zombies, and mummies. And then you had the grey plastic, and that was Chaos Warriors, the Chaos Sorcerer, and the Gargoyle, which was basically a Bloodthirster, except... I mean, he looked like a Bloodthirster, but he was basically a Gargoyle, wasn't he? Um, was there anything else? I think that was it. And then obviously later on you got things like the Ogre, the Ogres, and they were... Well, they came in different colours. But the important thing is you had Vermeer as the, as the sort of like the green sprues. And um, I, th I always thought they were some of the most interesting models in there, just because they look so different from everything else. Like, they just looked very weird and very cool. They had these axes, these big club tails. Um, unfortunately, the Vermeer were, well, the the law for for Games Workshop. You must you must remember the law for Games Workshop has changed over the years, and it has been sanitized quite severely. If you go back and read, oh god, what was the book series called? The Conrad series. I'm not talking the Vampire Conrad. I'm talking the, like one of the first series of Black Library books this was. And it was written by a famous sci-fi author under a different name. And I can't remember what his fucking name was. But it's not important. Anyway, in that book, there is a shit ton of sex. I mean, it's there, there's one point where the, the main character, Conrad, sex is a corn lady to death, which... I mean, that's a hell of a way to go. Corn must be very confused about it. I was like, well, someone died, but I, I'm very, I've got very mixed feelings about this in general. So, the, the sort of law of Games Workshop has been sanitized, and the Vermeer were a little rapey, to be fair. J just, a, just a touch. And um, so they were kind of written out of Games Workshop lore for quite a while. The Vermeer coming into Total War was... Was... I, did... 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 What's their face? Uh, Forge World. Did they do any Vermeer models? I genuinely don't know. They might have. I feel like the answer's no, but I could be wrong. Maybe they did. But anyway. So... They... They... They haven't had rules for many, many years. But maybe they'll come back in the old world? Oh, there we go. Long victory. Long victory achieved. Well done, us. We'll keep it for ourselves. No victory. I, I guess you only get the victory thing when you get the crisis. We haven't had the crisis yet. No crisis. Well, indeed. Uh, wow. What? Seriously? Is this a minor settlement? Oh, no, all right. It is a it is a major settlement, to be fair. It is a major settlement. Um, is this your last settlement, just out of interest? Pretty much how I always come, mate. Where's your other settlement? You do have two, apparently. Well, if we just lay siege to this... I mean, I know you've got this army over here. But this is just two guys, so I'm not overly concerned. Good job. Uh, I, I mean, we could fight that, and we could probably win. I'm just going to lay siege to it. I'm just going to lay siege to it. That's what we're going to do there. And oh, hello there. I mean, I, I will be honest with you, Solostra. I, I don't... You, you, your army's garbage. Like, literal absolute shit. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble here.
I will say this for Solostra, in that, you know what, she does put up more of a fight than I thought she would do. I thought her forces would immediately melt, but actually... Exalted uh, Blood Letters here, kind of getting... Kind of getting wrecked. I'm not entirely... Oh, is, is it reducing their melee attack, maybe? I genuinely don't know, but either way... We are kind of struggling against them somewhere. Somehow. Solostra, though, is currently getting the shit kicked out of her by two Bloodthirsters and higher Froctos. Froctos? 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 No, but anyway, the point is that she's getting a right good kicking. The rest of the enemy army is sort of like hanging back for a moment, obviously waiting for the reinforcements to to arrive. Uh, Solostra herself just not having a good time at the moment. Getting hit from every direction. To be fair, we're not actually... I mean, she, she's very tanky, and at least she's taking, you know, a fair chunk of damage. Each hit isn't actually, like, taking much health off. It's, it's a concerted effort with all three of them, which is slowly going to bring her down. Down she goes, finally. She is summoning these damn knights of the realm, who are actually causing us uh, a bit of an issue. And uh, some blood burst, uh, not some blood, blood letters down here actually went down. We've lost them. That's a real bugger. I think it's a combination between these Mongols, the Rotting Prometheans, and the Death Guards, potentially, who actually, you know what, could potentially... I, I, you know, the, blood, the Exalted Blood Letters aren't our, aren't our best units, are they? Our Chaos Warriors are the best units, so I guess losing the Blood Letters doesn't really matter. But still, the Vampires fight on. I even had to bring some Summoners of Rage in to assist, because we were... We're struggling that much. Unbelievable. Still, we have managed to knock out Solostra, and her army is slowly dropping. It's getting there. Every reinforcements realizing that uh, help is not forthcoming are now charging towards the scurvy dogs heading into the trees. They're spotting our garrison forces that I left as like a screen. They'll get hunted down, but I'm not particularly worried about that. I'm a bit worried about this unit of blood letters as well. Seems to be doing all right, but I am somewhat concerned. I think we got this. A missile fire there from the skies. Uh, we'll send the bloodthirsters after them. And the scurvy dogs getting cut down by our cavalry. Some more scurvy dogs incoming, but nothing to worry too much about there. So now we just need to mop this up, which shouldn't be too tricky. Since this army is mostly pirate deck hand, they do have a few missile units mixed in there, but uh, nothing, nothing too problematic. And we've got most of an army left? Minus some blood letters, of course. Nice little sword drop there. Taking a big chunk out of uh, a couple of units. Not too bad. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna charge them, to be honest. I'd like to say there's some finesse here, but there's not. I say still, they did... They did better than I thought. I genuinely thought... It, I... I... I thought it was just going to be an absolute slaughter, but actually they fought back and they did actually put a dent in us. I think that's a, one of the few times I've seen that in this campaign. I remember as Solostra, defeating Valkyria was an absolute friggin' nightmare. We did it, uh, but it cost most of Solostra's army, and I think Solostra herself as well. Sombol's heading into the trees. Not a good place for him, to be honest, because obviously the trees are going to give us some cover. A trio of big boys landing in the midst of the enemy and just laying into them. Uh, 
And then when everyone's concentrated on trying to kill them, the rest of our forces charge in, including our Chaos Knights. And finally, our Chaos Warriors. Eventually. Got some Prethians getting summoned in there, but I don't think that's going to save them somehow. Do still have a couple of units back here opening fire on us. But our aspiring champions are on their way to put a stop to that. I'd say it's just a matter of time, really, now. Especially if we drop a nice big sword on them. And the aspiring champions can mop up. lost a unit of, of blood letters but God, the problem is they get sad and they just drop dead it's most vexing siren extinguished again not super useful for us but never mind and the blast cleaver which gives us more melee attack to be honest that's something we don't really need We've kind of got enough melee attack I tell you what I do love I love the demon prince mechanic that is such a cool mechanic, isn't it? I'm genuinely very pleased that they uh, they actually added that in. It's just it's just good. It's just good. It's weird that your guy like changed his name, but I think that's apparently the only way they could do it. And fine, you know what? If, if that's the only way you can do it, I'm more than happy for you to add it than than not. I mean, it is amazing how they've managed to push the total war engine this far like the amount of stuff they're doing with i mean realistically they should probably get a new engine the realistically they probably should have built a new engine for warhammer but considering what they've got they've managed to get a lot of shit done which is very impressive it is very impressive so well done guys Do not dare to look at me as if I am beneath your fear. Yeah, well, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I am amazed you're still alive. You've military... I mean, there's, there's a lot of interest... There's been a few interesting things happening in a, in a few of the campaigns I've been playing. The Gorse campaign... A lot of people keep asking about the Gorse campaign. It is coming probably fairly soon now due to things that have happened does beg the question what I'm going to do for the patrons because there's no point starting a new campaign if the DLC comes and just breaks everything um, but that's fine hello oh we don't have our reinforcements all right I'm gonna pull back a little bit let's pull back a little bit we do have friends nearby so the Gauls campaign should be coming soon but in that campaign spoilers Kislev have done very well for themselves, which is something I've not seen in any other campaign. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but interesting. I will let them flourish. Jesus Christ, I've got an achievement. Well healed. What does that mean? Is that something to do with Vassal Tribute? Maybe? Oh, the Crusaders failed. Ah, oh, Bretonia. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Fuck's sake. That's it. You better run. You better fucking run. Come here. I've got four giants and I'm not afraid to use them. got two armies v their one and I've just right clicked them 
Should be fine. Now, two generals actually charging straight towards the enemy general and uh, going at him. I think, they, I think they're fairly similar levels. Yeah, they're all level four, which is fun. Of course, we have our four Norsecan giants because I couldn't, I couldn't recruit the Chaos Giants. I don't think it really matters all that much, to be honest. What the fuck have you got in your head? Is it like a big old horn thing? Oh, you've got a big old horn in your head. I never, I've never really noticed that before. Never noticed that the Norsecan giants have got a big horn in their heads. I suppose they're kind of like not quite Chaos Giants. Like they're one, they're one mutation down, aren't they? We've broken straight through their lines. The enemy general is uh, fleeing, understandably. And it looks like the maraud yeah, all the marauders are broken. Mostly just units like the weird spawn and uh, the severed claw. Both of these guys will be uh, a fairly tough nut to crack. But with the rest of the army fleeing off into the hills. The Chaos Warriors. The Chaos Warriors are a little bit more sturdy. But they're definitely not winning this fight. Those guys. Where are they running to? What, they've got aspects of of dread on themselves. Then the general actually came back momentarily because obviously he's now surrounded. Oh, it's a chaos sorcerer. He's a, he's a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. Wait, is that the general? Oh, it is the general. He was a wizard. Well, you better run. Ooh, we've got a giant chasing you. That's never a good, that's never a good thing. Even the Knights of Immolation fleeing. Uh, with, with all the regiments of renown this army has, I wonder if Archeon is actually still alive because he, they usually stick them in like Archeon's army. Mind you, the, the, the reason you keep running... that this, Someone told me this. I'm not sure if it's true. But the reason you keep running into Chaos armies with regiments of renown is because the Chaos armies apparently have no restriction on, on the regiments of renown level. So they can just recruit them whenever. Which does kind of make sense, because I do keep running it. It could just be there's so many Chaos factions, but I do keep running into regiments of renown when I fight Chaos armies. Like, literally, every si the number of times I've killed that regiment of renown Chaos giant, was it? Thaddeus Thunderguff or whatever it is. I kill him a lot. Way more than I should. Easy. Although you are recruiting more stuff, which is which is problematic. Oh, or are you? Wait, do you have a big garrison there? Uh, you know, that garrison isn't as big as I thought. If, at least if we lay siege to it, you won't replenish, right? So if I just continue this siege, can you actually march up to join me? I don't know if you're in range. Oh no, you would be in range. What do we think? Valiant defeats. All right, I guess I'll keep sieging it then. I am you Me too. It's good. Well, we are. We you know we're we're moving in. We're laying siege to to Archeon. Archeon would be the next person to curb stomp, I think. However, I did have a little impromptu. Imp impromptu. I can do words. Poll. And uh, the poll did say, I, I said, you know, should, should we carry on as Valkyria for a bit or should we go and play uh, Fermir? And uh, most people did say Fermir, well, quite, a, in fact, it's like 12 votes for carry on and 75 for tentacles. Look, it's fine. Uh, people going hard for tentacles, can't blame them. I would too. I frequently do. Anyway, so Valkyria was a lot of fun, uh, but we did manage to tick off the the long victory condition there. We didn't, like even before the crisis, before turn ninety five. I think that's my fastest victory for quite a while. There we go. So thank you very much for watching, and with any luck, if I can get the Famir mod working, I'll see you in the next campaign.